Christian context, and it is a product of Christian civilization. It didn't happen in China, it didn't happen in the Middle East, it didn't happen anywhere else. It happened in these dis disputes between Christians. And I think part of that story and that whole history is one that needs to be celebrated and told and given to these young minds. And I think where you have a vacuum, something is going to fill it. And uh, aside from the personal rewards that I reap from Christianity, and that you reap from Christianity, I think there is the societal and the civilizational context where this thing is going through the cracks and without a spiritual counter message. I think we're in very, 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 very serious It, it may be true historically that rational secular humanism grew out of Christianity in the sense that historically that's where it came from. But you could say it's a reaction against Christianity rather than having um, been in concert with Christianity. But even, even as a reaction against Christianity, the advances that we have made are rooted in that story. And my objection to throwing the baby out with the bathwater is that if you create this disconnect so that young people do not have been told of those debates, they're reading works that tell them that everything that the white male Christian left behind is exploitative, it's destructive, it has to be replaced with something else, it's settler colonial, whatever. It's being cut off from the roots of that civilization. And I think part of the reason why that vacuum came about and it was possible was because of this casting aside of Christianity and this attitude within atheism that if you say reason, everybody will suddenly start becoming, you know, and think reasonably. And in that sense, been a mistake. G.K. Chesterton was right. But do you... Yeah. Do you regret having been part of the new atheism movement, having preached atheism from that pulpit? Um, I do regret doing that, and I want to say that um, I realized the damage that I was doing, and I was doing a great deal of damage by equating Islam with Christianity. First of all, it is false. We were talking about truth and falsehood, and not all religions are the same. Religions are different because they are come out of different cultures and grow out of uh, contexts. So Christianity is not the same as Islam, and I'm guilty of having said, well, all faiths, all perceptions of God are the same, and they're equally damaging. Um, I come back from that, and I also c have come to regret um, the damage that I've done, and I want to see, I want to make my friends like Richard and Sam Harris and uh, Daniel Dennett and all the others, um, I want you to see what I see, and what I see is where you have a moral vacuum, something is going to fill it. I want you to see that the teachings of Christianity, just like you said, if there is a competition between Team Christian and Team Islam, you would be on Team Christian. That what you value in Christianity is something that really is absolutely necessary to pass on to the next generation. And we have failed the next generation by taking away from them that moral framework and telling them it's nonsense and false, but also not protecting them then from the external forces that come in for their hearts, their minds, and their souls. I think you're wrong to say. I think that you're wrong to, dif to, to differentiate Christianity from Islam in that sense. I mean, they, these Ab Abrahamic religions, Judaism, Christianity, and, and Islam, they, they have the same holy book. They believe in hell, they believe in a dictatorial God, um, believe in so much that's similar. Uh, the problem with Islam is that it's 700 years out of date, and, and, and Christianity has moved on, thank goodness, and mainly because most Christians don't actually believe it anymore. I mean, they, they don't take it seriously. The problem with Islam is that they take it seriously. They believe in, in their religion. They actually will fight to the death for their, for their religion in the way that crusaders 